Welcome to this introduction to the status property of verifiable credentials. So first of all, what is the status property? It's a validity checkpoint. The status property indicates the current state of a credential, furthering trust and min minimizing fraudulent transactions. The status property is also open to variations. So there are different types available for the status property, like suspended, revoked, and many more, and each of which can have different specifications and therefore implementations. We, at the moment, support two of them. So let's see what the status property enables. It gives us dynamic trust. What does it mean? It strengthens trust in interactions by enabling real-time updates and validations. So let's say a credential status changes in this second, and one second later, the verifier checks the credential status, it already has the new date. And therefore, it ensures that everything is valid at this certain point in time and authentic, and thereby enhancing trust in the credential and the data it represents. So what are now the features you can use as a user with our tools? So you can issue credentials with a status property, update them and validate them. Currently, we implement the status list 2021 entry as well as the simple credential status 2022. And of course, we are always looking out for new specifications and they are therefore adding new implementations to our feature sets as needed. So you always have the latest changes in the industry available. Let's now see everything in action with the SSI kit and the CLI tool. Welcome to this quick demo of the SSI kit, where we now will issue ourselves a credential that can be revoked. And what we will be using is the method, so the implementation of the status list 2021 entry specification. And the basic idea of the status list 2021 entry specification is that you have a separate credential that is also published by the issuer and can be accessed by the verifier that holds a bit string where every issued credential from that issuer has a position indicating the current status of the credential. So either being zero or one indicating that it's active or revoked. And to learn more about it, you can visit our docs as well as the implementation itself it always has a good reference to dive deeper into the technical details. So with that, let's issue ourselves a credential. Before I can start issuing, I need to make sure that I have my DIT available. So I just list out here my DITs. I will just be using this one. So let's see, SSI kit, VC, issue. Then as an issue, I provide this one. As a subject, I provide also this DIT. I will use the template verifiable ID. And now I provide the status type, which is in my case, the status list 2021 entry. So now let's issue that. Perfect. And here I got the credential back and we have our credential status here with the ID, which is the location where our other credential, the one with the bit string is published so that a verifier can then go to this URL and check at this index, which is also indicated here in the credential in this um, bit string, what if the credential is active or revoked and then we have here the, the status credential, the index and the status purpose which in this case is revocation, but it could also be something else. And then our specified type to check the, now the status of the credential I type, type SSI kit, VC, then revocation and check and provide the path where the credential stored. And what I will get back that it is currently not revoked, which is what we expected. As a next step, I will revoke now the credential. For that, I write SSI kit VC revocation revoke and the file path. 
So the credential was now revoked. And if I now check again, we should get true back, which is the case. And the way I showed it to you now is like with using the CLI tool, which is one way of using the SSI kit, but you could also use the REST interface to do the same thing or implement it directly in your Java or Kotlin applications by importing the SSI kit as a dependency. And as already mentioned, we also support a simple credential status 2022 as a, another type. And we are always continuously adding new ones as they come up. Now you saw how you can leverage the water TSSI kit to issue credentials with the status property. And as already said, you are really flexible when it comes to ecosystems where you issue credentials for from did rangings from key web apps iota checked and many more and also on the language side so no matter what programming language you're using you are flexible as we are offering rest apis and also libraries for for different programming languages as well as the cli tool tool you just saw and also when it comes to data storage you have multiple options from the keys dits and vcs and the various storage options that we already implemented in our tooling. But also if there might be something what we are not yet supporting, you are flexible and can extend as we are an open source company and you can use our tools based on an Apache 2 license and extend them. And now it's your turn. Start for free and create your first VCD with the status property. Go to the website waltid slash SSI kit or visit the docs directly and get started. So happy building. See you next time.